Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com.com with 2022-2022 Topps Museum Collection Baseball 6-Box Half Case Pick Your Team 1-0. Big thanks to the handful of people who got their team straight up. I appreciate that. Michael, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo before we pulled out the, a huge group of teams, put them into one big number block. All right, they're a big 19-teamer right here, and there are the results of that. These are the teams that are involved. And the schmutz on there. All right. There it is. Second half of the case that we popped. Oh, that's right, Brandon. Freddie Freeman with an RBI single and extra inning scoring the first run of the game. For a score, or for up until now, for a scoreless game, I feel like this game was kind of exciting. They, uh, because I think both teams had, had runners in, the, the runners in scoring position numbers are probably not going to be good. But they had people in runners in scoring position and then the relievers just stepped up and were able to get out of the, get out of some innings. Now let's see if uh, let's see who's gonna lock down the end of this game. Yeah, that's right, Diego. I, once I once I uh, get good enough to actually hit the hit a hit up a real course. I think I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely be carrying my own bag for the exercise. All right, and as I said before in that random number block video, there's a lot of teams on there, right? Someone, one person is going to get all these non-numbered base cards for that 19-team group, and including this Wander Franco rookie card that'll be included in there. He's going to reveal a Josh Hader. So this will represent the non-numbered randomizer that'll help me re remember. There's Josh Hader, 215 out of 250. This is still Brewer's edition. That'll be for Andrew. Picked up the Brewer straight up. On card auto. And then we've got Cal Ripken Jr., five out of 10. Meaningful material, that's a nice patch there. Three colors. For the O's, nice low number. Orioles are a number block team. So that goes to that digit right there. Orioles six. No, let's check that. That's five. Orioles five. And that'll be for Jeff. And for the Rays, Austin Meadows. Dual relic and autograph. Go by that digit right there, two. Tampa Bay Rays, two. Tampa, two for Patrick. And there's Will Myers, 27 out of 99. I think I heard on the the Dodgers Padres broadcast here, the Dodgers broadcast, that Will Myers is the longest tenured Padre currently on the, on the roster. I guess he has been there for a while. Padres are a random number block group, so that goes to Padres 7. That's 27 out of 99. Kind of hard to see with the lighting, but 7. Padres 7 is for Chad. Box 1 in the books. Next box.
It looked like Clayton Kershaw had a fresh baseball. They took a shot to the dugout. Kershaw had a baseball in his hand. It looks like he was about to take a bite out of it like an apple. Hmm. Dash. What's going on, Greg? Kind of had had the baseball. Kind of hey, he's he's kind of kind of smelling it like is this a fresh apple here? I'm about to about to chew it up a little bit. Redemption on the bottom. If that's a number block team, that goes to zero. No, I, th I think it was kind of funny. It looked like he was about to eat it. That was kind of funny. He's going to eat it like an apple. He knows he's on TV. Yeah, it is kind of crazy how the Dodgers have had sort of, well, a lot of pitching injuries and yet still have over 100 wins. And it actually hasn't been met. It's just met maybe in the names. There are not too many sexy names on there. But the Dodgers pitching staff and their, their bullpen actually has some of the lowest ERAs in all of baseball, which is kind of crazy to think about. We got Patrick Corbin, dual relic and autograph for the Nacionals. That will be for Washington 1. That will be for Patrick. Patrick Cox with that. Are there two hits? In? Oh, no, this is just an extra base card in there. There's Shane Bieber. And behind the Boz, Shane Boz, is a dual relic. Some of his teammates, Randy Arzarania, Brandon Lau, Vidal Brujan, Kevin Crimere. 55 out of 75. Rays 5. Goes to Jeff. Yeah, I didn't think that the Dodgers would have this many wins at this point. I knew they were going to be good, but I just thought, you know, I just thought the NL West was going to be really tough. You know, other teams improved too, but... Justin Verlander, 5 out of 50. Astros, picked up straight up by Bobby. And there's Jaron Duran Duran. Behind him, redemption. Oh, we'll have to go upside down. Congratulations, someone, you maybe, are due to receive a archival autograph of... S, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle, San, San Fran, San D, San Diego, C.J. Abrams. Padres are a number block team, so that goes to zero. Patrick with Padres zero. All right, next box. Yeah, Evan Phillips. Look at Evan Phillips' number. His, his numbers have been pretty incredible. Greg, uh, how how credible do you think are is the possibility, or how, how in your opinion as a Giants fan, how likely is it that they're going to get Aaron Judge? They're going to lure Aaron Judge back to Northern California. Sign him to a big paycheck or something like that. Yeah, is Danny Duffy done? I feel like I feel like he was I feel like he was pitching a lot or trying to ramp up at some point, but maybe they shut him back down.
Diego thinks very likely. How likely, how often does uh, does that happen? A big free agent go, go back to their hometown? Everyone thought that Kevin Durant was going to go to D.C. That didn't happen. Tom Brady was supposed to go to the Niners. That didn't happen. I don't know, but maybe in the Aaron Judge case, it will happen. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. to 150. There's Mookie Betts. There's C.J. Abrams. Um, oh, and a artist proof sketch card. It's a little more short printed. Yeah, Kate can't make up his mind what he wants. This is true. He needs like a he needs like a Ryan Gosling in his life. Ryan Gosling in the Notebook, asking Rachel McAdams, "What do you want?" 25 out of 50, Jackie Bradley. Piece of his uh, lumber going to Diego and the Red Sox. Got, he got the Red Sox straight up. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 52 out of 99. Quad relic for the Bluebirds. And that's a random number block team that goes to Toronto 2. T2 going to Patrick. And then behind Buster Posey, who just got involved with the ownership group there, is Xander Bogarts. Look at that. Diego, my advice, coming in handy. Dual relic and autograph for Diego, who bought that team straight up. He doesn't have to, doesn't have to share with the number block group. One out of 50. Greg thinks uh, they do have a chance at judge, but ownership doesn't seem to be spending a lot of, a lot on, uh, or spending big on bats. But he, oh, has he said he wants to play in San Francisco? Well, Rex, we, I, I, we know, we know. Fair weather, Rex. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to play out. I think the schedule will be tougher now that every team plays everyone. I don't know. I mean, that means... You know, the Dodgers still get to play, like, bad teams like the Angels, the Rangers, the A's. But yeah, on the flip side, a little more travel, right? I wonder if baseball will eventually will eventually go more towards maybe they won't, I don't know. If they go more towards a basketball thing. All the bad, most of the basketball teams, I think all of them, they play each other, right? Or no, maybe, I mean, or maybe just the elimination of American and National League or something like that. I mean, there really is no difference anymore. DH is gone, or the DH is here. All right, there's Jackson Kowar, 115 out of 299. So you think like, you think maybe, I don't know, I don't think it's going to happen like next week, but you think maybe in a decade or two, we finally find ourselves just melting the NL and the AL together? There's Jackson Kowar for the Royals. That's for Royals 5. That's for Jeff. Right, and if they expand, they'll probably have to redraw divisions. 
maybe at that point they'll well, they just there you go that's the game Dodgers win one nothing in the tenth that's crazy everyone had the under on that game right there's Zach Ranky this is Astros edition going to Bobby. Alec Thomas reveals a Alec Bohm to 99. 72 out of 99. That'll be for Michael Gellis and the Phillies. Last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. And behind the buzz is... Ah, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will Smith. In West Philadelphia, he was born and raised. The playground is where he spent most of his days. Chilling out, maxing, and relaxing all cool. Shoot some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys, they were up no good. Started making trouble in his neighborhood. The Coast Dodgers 8, Patrick. Fight. His mom got scared, pearl clutching. And she said, you're moving with your uncle and auntie in Bel Air. He whistled for the cab, Will Smith did, and when it came near, the license plate said fresh. Some dice in the mirror. If anything, I could tell that this cab was where, but I said, ah, forget it. Go home to Bel Air. He pulled up to the mansion around seven or eight. And this is a true story, Diego, from, from Will Smith. And he yelled to the cab, you home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That's the Will Smith story for the Dodgers. That's, that's, uh, that's Will, Will Smith's bio. Did you know that's not the entire theme song? Yes, everyone knows that. Come on, Rex. <laughs> We're in 2020. There's a much longer version of it, but we rarely hear it in the TV broadcasts. If at all. 75 out of 150, Albert Pujols. Cardinals edition. And there's Josh Donaldson, Twins Edition. One out of 50, Twins. Jeff picked up the Twins straight up. Kevin Crimer, 22 out of 25. This might be a 4th of July patch in there. That will be for the Rays. Rays are a number block team. 22 out of 25. That's uh, Tampa 2. Patrick. Tampa 2. Behind Chris Bryant, it's Garrett Cole. 4 out of 15. Two color relic and autograph. For the Bronx Bombers. Yankees. Yankees are a number block team. So that goes to Yankees 4. That's for Patrick. Yankees 4. And George Springer, 47 out of 99, quad relic for Toronto. Toronto 7 is for Chad. What's the most wins in a season? Is it 115? I thought it was more than that. No, maybe it is 115. 
16, 17? Dodgers 107 wins this season is a franchise record. New episode of Andor was great. It's a little bit of a little bit of a slower burner, I want to say. But there's a lot of uh, tension to it. Maybe not a lot of action, but a lot of tension. I feel like some, uh, you know, the, the 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 constant complainers on Twitter are like, it's not enough action. Oh, well, I mean, it's not, it's not like it's. It's not like it's a Marvel show. I think it's supposed to be more of a spy espionage show. So there's more stress and tension to it as opposed to uh, as opposed to like outright action. Although episode three did have some action towards the end. But no, it's good. I think it's going to go down as one of the... Because uh, I think they have kind of a focus to it. There's an arc to it because they're bridging into... Um, I think they're doing two seasons to bridge into uh, Rogue One. So I think they have more of a clear path on how they want to, what they want to do and how to get there. So. so yeah, I think it's great. I might do a rewatch of all four episodes again this weekend. No, yeah, that's right. It is. The Mariners with 116, I believe that was in the early 2000s, Greg. <laughs> yeah, check that out, Diego. It's a, it's all, I always rewatch. There, there's a few people that have expanded upon that theory that The Rock is actually Sean Connery's last, um, the, the Rock is actually Sean Connery's last uh, James Bond movie. But one thing that you have to, like, one thing that they say is that you just have to just take only Sean Connery James Bond movies. All the other Bond movies don't count. But if you just take Sean Connery James Bond timeline, um, you can make some comparisons there. Are there two hits here? There are. Here's Chaz McCormick, 117 out of 299. That'll be for Bobby and the Astros. And there's Christian Yelich. Nice quad relic, 25 out of 25. Brewers. Uh, Andrew Dawson picked it. I almost said Andre. I'm sure that happens a lot, Andrew. But Andrew Dawson with the Brew Crew. There's Joe Maurer. Nice. Where's Chris Jaspi? Dual relic and autograph. That goes to Jeffrey and the Twins. Our colleague Chris Jaspi, who you hear sometimes on Instagram, and occasionally will be here on YouTube to fill in. Big Joe Maurer guy. Big fan of his. 58 out of 100. Got Pete Alonzo reveals a Mark Burley relic. 50 out of 50. White Sox picked up straight up. Joe Christian. Oh, yeah, then you, you'll get a kick out of it. I don't, I don't think that's what the producers or writers in... Well, no, I mean, maybe I think they might have intended to do that now that I think about it. Lars Newtbar. Hi, I'm Hall of Famer Lars Newtbar. Bringing you some high-quality, nutritious bars. The Lars Newt Bar. 275 out of 299. We put the newt in nutrition. And that goes to the Cardinals. That'll be for Cardinals 5. That's for you, Jeff. Jeff with Cardinals 5. There you go, boys and girls. A really nice second half of Museum Collection Baseball. There are some non-numbered cards that we got to randomize to somebody. So, one person on this list here will get all the non-numbered cards for these teams right here. New dice roll, new list. Good luck. Name on top after 11 times. Gets those non-numbered base cards, including the Wander Franco rookie card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
And once more, 11th and final time, it is Chad. There you go, Chad. I don't know. I don't think I called your name out too often for hits, but you get a, you'll should probably get, should probably get a big stack of uh, non-numbered base cards going your way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for Jaspie's Case Breaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.